Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is my review of Parasite, episode 4. Once again, a very good episode of Parasite this week. Okay, and this episode was very interesting because am I the only one who sent some death flags for Izumi's parents? Like, the death flags are so fucking staggering because, okay, apparently the two of them are going, I think it's on like a business... I don't remember if it's a business trip or it's just a trip for fun for just the two of them, but either way, they're going on a trip, okay? And at first, Izumi didn't want them to go at all because of the, uh, well, mincemeat murders. Obviously, he knows the real reason. It's because of the parasites, but he called it what everyone else calls it, which is the mincemeat murders, okay? And... Later on, later on that day, he says, you know, okay, fine, you can go. He basically makes up a big lie to them because they were suspicious of him, saying, I, I, was, th I thought I would have been lonely and whatnot. But to me, that's like huge fucking death flags for them. <clears throat> Either that or maybe some foreshadowing as to uh, Izumi actually protecting his parents from some parasites and then them finding out about Migi and whatnot. And the parasites in general, but the, but, but there's a thing. I mean, they might still die because Migi even stated that if if they find out, I'm going to fucking kill them. Basically, is what he said. So the only the only way I could see that not happen, Migi not killing them, is if it happens late way later on in the series when Migi has more character development to where Migi won't do that. Okay, but if it happens soon, then yeah, Migi's probably going to kill them either way. So major fucking death flags for those two characters and obviously that would definitely help to shape uh, Izumi's character too okay it really would um, unfortunately there was a bit of a censor in this episode which is where when uh, Tami Tamino ended up killing her uh, mother well technically it wasn't her it was the parasite but still uh, techni uh, ki uh, killed her mother okay and and the top and the top of her head was basically cut clean off and shredded, and that was censored a little bit. Although considering the, considering that it wasn't completely censored because there was still a lot of blood, and also and also considering that the the rest of the series so far has been literally not not uncensored completely, I'm gonna cut it some slack. Okay, I'm not complaining that that part was a little bit censored. I'm just saying it because it happened. Okay. Uh, other than that, the episode started out with resuming the fight between Izumi and uh, A. Really? A? I didn't even like it when Naruto chose a, chose a fucking name, A. God damn it. Letters are not names. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, the fight resumed, and I really love how Migi and... Iz or how Izumi's really starting to trust Migi a lot more because w with all the, those like tentacles w with the blades on them sw swirling all around him, Izumi just walks straight into them and I didn't really get that at first. I mean, I understood that it was that Migi was protecting him from being cut up, but what I was wondering was how because he was just on his hand and it still wasn't properly explained. But my only the only thing I could think of was that maybe Migi's able to circulate through the rest of his body and like harden his skin or something so that he it won't cut him. That's really the but that's really like the only thing that I can actually think of though that really makes sense, which would be really f fucking cool, mind you. And then of course Izumi takes that fucking pipe and jams it right through fucking A's uh, chest. And A wanders off somewhere and is later on supposedly killed by Tamino. Tamino, but that's kind of un that's kind of unconfirmed at this point. So he could still very well be alive. Okay. Another really cool thing about this episode is is the whole thing about the motherly instincts, I guess you would call it, with Tamino because Tom Tamino, as we already know, is Go about going to give birth soon to a human child, okay, to a human child, and Tamino claims that, that that she'll do experimentation on it, and when she has no more use of it, she for it, she will basically devour it. Now, 
I, I could def and I have a theory on that, and that's based on two more scenes that happen in this episode. One of them is the whole thing with Tomino's mother noticing that there's something up with her, and the second one is with actually uh, Izumi's mother noticing that there's something up with him, and we get a brief flashback of sometime in the past where Izumi was about to get burned by some scalding hot uh, food or something, couldn't really tell exactly what it was, and, Iz and Izumi's mother basically saved him, creating that huge fucking scar on her arm, okay? And it seems like Izumi still blames himself for that to this very day, too, as well, mind you. So, but because of those two scenes, in terms of the, uh, in terms of the whole Tommy, uh, Tomino giving birth thing, I suspect that maybe she actually will grow to love her child that, that she gives birth to and, vi and thus try to protect it like a mother is supposed to. Supposed to? Um, of course, I could be completely wrong. This is obviously just a theory, but I suspect that they might actually go in that direction with it, which, which would be really interesting. Um, also, like I mentioned in my last episode review, Izumi's personality definitely seems to be changing a lot, okay, because you see him in this episode, and he's talking back to his parents all the time, and his father even commented that it's really weird because he didn't really have a, he was a really weird child because he didn't even really have a rebellious face, you know, which all children are technically supposed to have, so the simple fact that he's mouthing off to them right now is definitely suspicious, okay, and cause for concern. So both of them are definitely cluing in on something, and that's another thing why I suspect there may, might be a major death like soon, if not by someone else, or if not by Miggy because they find out about him due to, uh, due to Shinichi, due to Izumi wanting to save them, then they might just find out via other methods, so then Miggy might kill them, you know what I mean? I, again, unless it's way far down the line of the series when, uh, when Miggy has a lot more character development, okay? But either way, overall, I really loved this episode of Parasite, okay? It was really fucking good. Like, the animation is so good, it's so fluid, and really the only thing I could even think of as a complaint for this episode is the slight tiny bit of censorship, but that's nothing to complain about. Um, because it's... <sighs> Because it was still fucking awesome, okay? So anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.